Well, hello again, you guys. The first video is probably not even uploaded yet, but the heaviest part of this storm is coming through right now. This is so great. This is this is this is what I love about this place. Is this? It's so great. So we're gonna drive to the snowiest part of town. Not in the valley, though. And by the way, it's uh, December thirtieth, twenty twenty-three, in Big Bear, California. It's uh, ten in the morning, thirty-four degrees. And we are going to be driving up to Upper Moon Ridge. That is the neighborhood in the whole entire valley that gets the most snow. And with very little snow like this and kind of iffy temperatures, it could be pretty darn dangerous driving up and down, but it's okay. You guys are worth it to get great footage. So yeah, right now we're on Moon Ridge Road. And as I said, we are going to be heading up to Upper Moon Ridge. Gosh, it's coming down so good right now. It is coming down so good. Go, buddy. Got you covered. Oh my gosh, this makes me so happy. All right. Ah, oh, this is great. So again, how's everyone doing today? I know it wasn't too long ago that the, uh, the first video was uploaded, but it's great to see you guys. Go, buddy. I got the yield, go ahead. Oh guys, it's so pretty. I mean, it is coming down right now. Keeping my fingers crossed, this, the rain does not mix in. Because this is this is great. Okay. You do gotta possess extra patience up here when there is snow, you guys, because. A lot of people do come up here and it just freaks them out. So always give people a little extra time and uh, just let them do their thing. <laughs> when I first moved up here, you guys could see from many of my first videos, the first couple years, I was angry at these drivers. And the first few years, I, 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 I talked like a darn sailor. guys taught me to be more of a gentleman and I appreciate that. I try not to curse ever on the channel anymore. But yeah, this is fantastic. The higher we go over here, the heavier this is going to become and I'm so excited about it. Again, Upper Moon Ridge is the snowiest neighborhood, snowiest area in all of Big Bear when it comes to uh, um, just neighborhoods and stuff like that. Down at the valley floor, the snowiest part of the valley floor is over by the dam. But for those of you who want to get absolutely hammered with snow when we have good storms, you want to get an Airbnb up here. Upper Moon Ridge. Oh yeah. So we're gonna we're on. Uh, I always forget the name of this darn street right here. But we're gonna turn right here on Butte. So we were on Villa Grove. And now we are going to take Butte all the way up. And we're gonna end up getting back to Villa Grove. But yes, this is awesome. Slow down, because there's a little, little kiddo being walked. Uh, I just love seeing people's faces up here when it's snowing. It's just pure joy in everyone's hearts and, and souls during during these times. This road right here, you guys, can be so unbelievably dangerous. I have so many videos of cars sliding backwards down this hill. It's very scary. Very, very scary. You want to be extra careful, but you want to make sure you have some momentum 
to get yourself up here, especially when there's a little bit more coverage on the ground. And depending on what the temperatures are too. Yeah, look at these big fat snowflakes. This is just fantabulous. I'm gonna hit the zoom in thing real quick. Um, because when I zoom in with these big flakes, it just looks so cool. So, okay, we're at Villa Grove now. Let me just zoom in. Oh, that is so cool. Completely zoomed in. Oh, that is so cool, right guys? Isn't that so pretty? Well, this is what we do, guys. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I wish my wife was with us, but she's she's gotta go to do her job. Since it's Saturday, I don't start work till noon. So I get to play around with you guys without any concern about work, which is fantastic. Take the loop, the Villa Grove loop. Loop the de loop. Loop the de loop. Loopa, doopa, loopa de loop. <laughs> oh, the snowflakes are so awesome. They're so big and beautiful. You guys, this is amazing. This is so pretty. I wish you could all be here. It's just so freeing for me to be in this type of weather. I know I'm inside the car, I'm not technically in the weather, but you know what, it's just, this is my happy place. Go to your happy place, happy. <sighs> I just ate my leftover Indian food. Nice and full. Ready for a long day doing this. At least I, I hope a long day. So yeah, when, when we go down, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous of the route we're gonna take down. Um, just because I am. But we're gonna, it's gonna drop us off over by Bear. So once we start heading down that way, I will let you guys know. as we're climbing in elevation has dropped down to 33 degrees again it's just after 10 a.m. pick up again once we start heading down. What are you doing, buddy? That guy's going to crash for sure. What a Barney. See how fast that guy was taking that, that turn? He was like 12 years old in that really nice Audi. God bless him for that, but just be, be careful because parts for those cars are not cheap. take moon loaf but there's not enough snow for it to be worth it moon loaf is an off-roading area it's 
it's, it's not the longest, but it's just so cool. And it takes you, uh, it transfers you from here, Upper Moon Ridge, into Sugarloaf. Instead of having to drive all the way down to the boulevard and go all the way around. You can take the shortcut. snow starting to come down the windshield from the roof we're starting to get a little bit of snow guys all right so now we're on La Crescenta and we're gonna take La Crescenta until we get to Wolf this will dead end on Wolf and then we're gonna make a left on Wolf and then hold our breath as uh, we shortly after that start start going down a very steep road pretty up here as I said guys this is where you want to be if you love the snow like I love the snow you want to be up here so apparently chains are a requirement right now I've got some friends driving up here from Lake Arrowhead and they said that they got stopped and have to put on chains. So I'm sure it's worse on the way in than it is here. It usually is, but a lot of times we'll end up getting more snow. But that running springs area, guys, they, you, you know, they get hit first with everything. And uh, um, if they were another thousand feet up in elevation, they would always get a ton more snow than we get. We're at the back of the mountain range. So these storms get eaten alive by the front of the mountain range and then any leftover moisture, that's what we get. For instance, if, if Crestline was the same elevation as Big Bear, the snow amounts would be ridiculous there. Ridiculous. All right, so we are on Wolf. As I said, we're, we're coming to the part of the road where, uh, or the part of the drive that's nerve wracking for me. That's a beautiful Tesla right there, man, gorgeous. gets heavier and heavier to go out and update you guys and just show you guys the absolute beauty of this wonderful place. Look at all these cute houses up here. They're just adorable. That's a monster right there. That's a big guy. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go right. Oh no. This is Canyon Crest. doesn't look that steep right here but it is it's not so bad over here to the left if we can get some peekaboo views past these houses you can see bear mountain because it's just right there let's see here yeah there's some of the runs right there oh it's so beautiful steep stuff is coming up to the left here look at how beautiful that place is that's really pretty it's like a little castle up here okay no traffic coming that way we are good
Hey, you kids need to wear some jackets. What are you guys doing out here? See, they're so cold, they turn green. Well, that's, that's my, my wife. I'll be back in 10 minutes. to leave something for my wife so yeah this is a pretty steep not so fun part but we're good we are good Okay, straight ahead as this road curves to the right, if you look to the left, this is one of the sledding areas that I always send, send you guys to because it's very safe for your kids when there's more snow. Because they'll sled down one side and there's no risk of sledding in, into the street or anything like that. They'll sled down and then back up and then you just hike back up to the top and, and keep on sledding down like that. Very safe. This thing runs basically through the middle of Moon Ridge. Right now we are on, on uh, I, I, uh, Calusa, I believe, Calusa Street. So sheep horn and then you'll turn right on, yep, Calusa, and you'll be there. all of you especially the ones who are feeling down and out about things and just you know wish things could be going better I wish you were up here with me right now be be enjoying this serenity because this is as serene as it gets for me at least when we got the snow falling so because of the traffic we're not gonna go to, well you know what we'll drive by the mountain why not I told her I'd be home in 10 minutes. It will just be an extra five minutes. So we're gonna pass by Bear Mountain, you guys. Over here to the right is our golf course. Such a gorgeous golf course. Every single hole has just the most beautiful views of mountains in the background. It's just, just gorgeous. And there's a bunch of skiers up there at Bear. Yee -hee -hee. And snowboarders. Or I should say there's a bunch of snowboarders and skiers. Alright, so we're on Moon Ridge and now we're turning on to Gold Mine. It is a gold mine up here. How's it going guys? Look at all, all these all these skiers. Oh it's so great. It is so so great.
beautiful Bear Mountain, my favorite ski resort on this mountain range. All right, well, see you later, Bear. So I'm going to show you guys another little shortcut to kind of cut off a, 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 a bit of Moon Ridge where you're going to catch traffic. So when you're leaving Bear Mountain, if you if you leave the time of day when most people do towards the end of the ski day, then you're going to end up hitting some pretty good traffic leaving right here, especially coming up to the roundabout because of all the traffic control. So I'm going to show you guys what to do. Not on this street, Skyvang, Sylvangian, Sylvangian. You want to pass that. Once you get up to the golf course here, you'll see this beautiful white picket fence, which lines the golf course. It's going to be your first left-hand turn here. And as I said, you'll usually be in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic by now, all the way up to Moon Ridge, which is uh, straight way up there. So even though there's no traffic, I'm going to show you. And this street's called Willow. Like that movie Willow. Have you seen Willow? So we're going to take Willow till it dead ends and curves around to the right, which will be Elm Street. So think of two movies. The movie Willow and Nightmare on Elm Street. That's your shortcut here. Willow, really short. <laughs> I mean, it works, right? Willow was a pretty short dude, so you're taking a shortcut by taking Willow. And as I said, you just stay on this until you, you get to the end and the road curves around to the right and the street changes from Willow to Elm Street. up after we do after I begin to upload this video because we are low again running low again all right so look willow starts to curve curve to the right but it changes from willow to elm street and you'll just take elm street till you get to moon ridge road pretty simple there's there's even further you can cut cut across to avoid all of Moon Ridge, but we're, we're just doing this, this basic one here. Again, it can save you an awful lot of time. Be careful at these roundabouts, especially when there's snow and ice on the road. Be extra, extra cautious. I don't, I don't, want, any, I don't want any of you to get into any accidents. And I know it's not because of your driving, it'd be because of other people's driving. Because I know everyone who watches this channel or like Mario Andretti can drive fast and safe. Alright, so here we come. Here's the roundabout. on Moon Ridge. So that's a quick update. As you saw, the snow came down a lot heavier for a while. We're just probably getting a small little break and uh, when it starts to really pick up, I'll see you guys soon. Like and subscribe, share the videos, and most of all, just enjoy the show. Take care. Oh, Big Bear, weatherandmore.com for your merchandise, all the merch you need, and then for your ski rentals, go to Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard. And uh, they'll wax and wax your snowboards and skis for free if you mention me. Take care, guys. Peace out.